Hey friends, I'm Mike McCurry, the host of the Bible Tract Echoes radio broadcast. I am so very glad that you've joined us for this incredibly special week here on the radio program. Now, I know, I probably say it's a special week just about every single week, but this time there's no hyperbole because I get to welcome in to our brand new building here in Odell, Illinois, a man, uh, maybe, I, I was trying to think how quickly to get into the humorous aspect of things, but we'll describe him as a, a patriarch of oh Bible my. Tract, <laughs> Bible Tracks Incorporated. <laughs> you may hear him laughing, very distinctive <laughs> laugh. I got him already. I have Mark Smith in the studio with me right now. Many of you that have been longtime listeners to Bible Tract Echoes, Brother Mark Smith was the voice of Bible Tract Echoes for 15 years. He was my predecessor. I have the great honor, the opportunity to serve as the executive director now. But before I was here, there was one that came before me. Brother Mark Smith, thank you for joining us today. Brother Micah, it's a great honor to be here. You're very kind to just invite me. I've been joking with the folks saying, I'm really here just for the food. We're having <laughs> barbecued chicken. Yes. But to see the building and what God is doing uh, under your leadership, it just, uh, frankly, it humbles me uh, with the, gr the goodness and grace of God. Um, the gifting he's given you, but the help oh, you yes. have oh. tremendous help in your office yes, that uh, any any leader would give us ever loving eye teeth to have a hold of. <laughs> and if I can bribe them away from you sometime, I will. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you so much. And one of the things I probably mentioned this about as often as I mention anything else. I, I was talking. Uh, I, I, I mentioned Paul Levine, uh -huh. the founder of this ministry, Absolutely. often. Yes. And I don't think I'm wrong in doing so. No, no, no. Uh, we stand on the shoulders of giants. Absolutely. But the Lord convicted me a couple of uh, really weeks, come a month or so ago, that Paul Levine has more important things going on right now. <laughs> now, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop talking about him, but he, he's around the throne saying, holy, 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 right? Yeah. But a kind thought unexpressed does nothing. Mm. A kind thought unexpressed does nothing. And so why don't I? I asked myself, the Lord convicted me, why don't I talk about the folks and talk to the folks that are still around to hear it, that haven't stepped over into glory? And so, Brother Smith, I've said it before, but thank you for the opportunity and the friendship. Um, generational transitions are not always easy. No, they're not. And, and I can't imagine an easier transition at Bible Tracks Incorporated than what you allowed. Now, you, you, God used you with it and the grace of God and all those things, but you allowed the transition to happen. I want to thank you for that. Well, right now at the church I pastor, I'm preaching on the life of Elisha. Mm-hmm. But Elisha had the privilege of spending time and rubbing shoulders and walking with, listening to Elijah eat and all and sleep and snore and all that. <laughs> but God himself was in this because until you came to the office one day, uh, the, uh, the head of the board, uh, Joey, Pastor Joy Watt, introduced and you came and you and I did not know each other. No. Uh, and so there was not an Elijah, Elisha type thing. It was the grace of God that, that brought you. And uh, just for the folk to know, I told the board three years earlier <laughs> that I sensed that my ability to uh, make the ministry go forward was waning. And my, my gifting was that of a pastor. And I loved what I did. But I, my heart was back in the pastorate, and this ministry needed somebody with different skill sets uh, and more energy, and lo and behold, there you were in the wings. And God used a, a group of different people. This person said, hey, do you know about this young man, and so on. And But God in his goodness brought it together. I could, be, I could not be more thrilled with what's happening. Amen. Well, we're going to get deeper into that discussion in just a little while, because it's near and dear to me. Yeah. Hey, the, this this Paul and Timothy relationship, the Elijah Elisha relationship, it's biblical, and absolutely. so it's absolutely something that that should take top billing. And it's yeah. not just something that I harp on because I'm a young guy and I'm looking yeah. for old guys to validate me. Yeah, because I, I desire that partnership, that generational partnership instead of generational schism yes. is what we need. But yeah. we're going to get to that a little bit, a little bit more in just a moment, Brother Smith. We are here right now. In the brand new building, we sure are. Bible tracks and oh, man, it, we're it's never. phenomenal. We're going to talk more about that, but this is going to be starting tomorrow on the broadcast. This is going to be the first week of broadcasts with a live studio 
audience. It's it, 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 we're going big time or something. I, I, we're, we're going somewhere. I just say that, and uh, we're looking forward to it today. This is actually you're listening to something that was actually recorded on October first. Those of you that are listening right now, that was and this is our grand opening yeah. of our brand new building. Yeah. We're so thankful to have you here as the guest of honor, but I'm looking forward to you folks hearing from people that we, you came from Pennsylvania. Yeah. We have folks here from Kansas, yeah. Indiana, Ohio, and the day hasn't even started yet. So I'm looking forward to it. But talk about what it means to be able to kind of grow into a new building and the opportunities that it presents. Knowing where you were for 15 years in that building, can you talk about that just a little bit? Well, First of all, let me just quickly say sure. there were some people that I inherited that that did the behind the scenes ministry secretaries and people that filled orders and yes. so on. I I inherited those folk. They had a heart for the ministry, uh, and uh, but I don't know if you realize this, but in fifteen years, people do get older, <laughs> and their ability and, and we needed to replace. And we had trouble finding people who had a heart for the ministry of gospel tracts. Sure. And uh, so we found that this person would fill in for a while and this person would be our bookkeeper for a year and so on. And, and But uh, we and also inherited an old building. Mm -hmm. uh, believe it or not, that building used to be the building where they raised rabbits mm -hmm. in. And it, it was <laughs> some kind of building, but it was old. And uh, it had some issues. Uh, but that's all we had. Right. And we also inherited uh, the a dearth of giving. And the one thing I'm just very grateful to God, we were able to yes. help get the, the giving back up uh, through the, the ministry of traveling and being on the radio and so on. But uh, we inherited some people and with a heart, but those hearts got old <laughs> and the building got old. And in the process, uh, as I said before, God said, okay, God honors faithfulness. It is required of a, of a man that he be found faithful. Yes, we have had a number of faithful people who God said, okay, now I can bless this thing. We needed some youthfulness and a fresh vision. Uh, you are an evangelist. <laughs> that's your calling. I am a pastor. That's sure. my calling. I can do the ministry and from time to time still get to do the ministry of being an evangelist, but my heartbeat is that of a pastor loving the same flock of people week in, week out, and so on. You bring a different heartbeat and a vision, a vision to um, expand some things, adding music and so on. Uh the, the newness of this building, even though, yes, it's an old building that's been refurbished, sure. the newness and the expansing uh, of the space really enables this ministry for the next uh, decades if the Lord tarries sure. and as the Lord tarries. Amen. Well, and let me say this to those that are listening right now. Maybe you're actually worked up and think, I should have been there at the grand opening. <laughs> let me say you should have. We, we had some folks from overseas say, man, from, uh, um, from Norway, said, I would have loved to have been there. I said, I'll, I'll give you a pass this time. I well, understand. I had, a, I had a text from a man in Texas, really? uh, excuse me, in, in California. Okay. He said, I wish I could be there, but oh. he runs a gospel, a, a camping program, and uh, supports the ministry and just said, I can't be there. I'm uh, praying for you guys. So yeah, all over. Absolutely. And so I'll say this, we've had multiple folks. We have people from, from, from like I said, from Kansas and here today. But if you're ever, those of you that are listening, if you're ever in the area and you have the opportunity to swing on by, please do. We would love to host yeah. you. I'd love to take you out for lunch or something. I can't promise barbecued smoked <laughs> chicken on the day you come. And sweet, did I mention sweet corn? I'm really excited oh my. about this. My, oh my tummy's my. rumbling. We'll have to end this episode here soon because you are here partly for the food. Maybe not all for the food, <laughs> but I'm here for the food as well. But in all seriousness, if you're ever coming through the area, I've kind of built this as a mini missions trip for mm. people to come because it's very seldom that people, number one, the expense and the yeah. time, the time off work, to go to a place like I have friends in Puerto Rico. I would love to go visit. But to take a week and, and to do right. that is difficult. Right. But to come and see a ministry stateside here, pretty centrally located in the Midwest, to come and see it, I would encourage you, if you ever have the opportunity, the Bible tells us, mine eye affected mine heart. We'd love for you to come see us. But mm. Brother Smith, I want to thank you so much for 
the opportunity and then to come back and for us to have a continued partnership and wow. to be able, the ability to stand behind your pulpit not too long ago. We have about three minutes or so left on this broadcast. Encourage people to join us for, we have no idea what's going to happen on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this broadcast. Maybe give people a sneak peek into what you imagine or why they should come back for the remainder of this week. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, uh, Brother Micah just mentioned using your trip here to come visit as a mission trip. This is a mission organization. Amen. We are taking the gospel to the world. That was the heartbeat of Paul Levine. That continues to be the heartbeat of this ministry. And you can come and you can physically touch and help pack up. Even if you come for a one day, a two hour visit, you mm -hmm. can handle tracks that are going to go across the country, across the world. You can touch uh, those tracks that are going to touch the hearts and the lives of God's people. It is a mission trip. It is a, a, a mission. Uh, as we go on, I'm hoping to, to share that um, the heartbeat of my life at my local church, mm -hmm. we're still talking about how we share the Amen. gospel Amen. Uh, through gospel tracks and impacting people. Uh, this this is tell. a life. This is a lifestyle. This is the Christian life. Oh, it, yeah. It, your, your, your journey, if you will, with gospel <laughs> tracks didn't end. When you said sayonara and, and no. went off in the sunset, it didn't begin. It didn't begin. By, <laughs> yeah, exactly. We got we got here because uh, I, I was pastoring a local church that had a wall full of gospel tracks, Amen. and uh, they needed a director, and that's what it started. And more of God's people need to grasp mm -hmm. uh, the power of the printed page in the life of lost people. Amen. It's still effective. We'll, we'll see if we have time for it this week. I, I'm praying the Lord allows it. There's a man here from the church from uh. a church over in uh, Indiana. 44 years ago, he picked up a gospel track that someone, one of his co-workers left yep. in his workplace restroom, read that gospel tract, accepted Christ, and he can't talk about it without tearing up. Yeah. 44 years later. I, I don't think he's lost his first love. We can no. talk about that. No. But to hear him talk about it, and then to hear that Paul Levine sent him a note and said, here's a church you should go to. And he's been there for 40 years now. And I think he's a deacon in the church and just so faithful. That's what it's all about. It's Absolutely. not, it's not just notches on an evangelist belt to say, here's some people, how many people got saved. Now we got 30 seconds left. Give us one last word, brother Smith. The work of the ministry is done by all the people, not by just the paid staff Amen. do the work of the gospel ministry. Amen. Well, thank you so much, Brother Smith. I am so looking forward to having you with us for the next four broadcasts. Tell a friend. And by the way, if you miss the broadcast, you can go and find the archived version anywhere you listen to podcasts, Bible Tract Echoes. We'll talk to you very soon. My prayer is that you have a great day for His glory. I'm going to go eat some smoked chicken, Brother Smith. How about you? I'm with you. God bless. Talk to you soon.